Hello guys, Catwalk here and I'm back with another scroller box and this time I have September's box to show you. It is an art supply subscription box that arrives filled with new delicious art supplies every month. There is a link in the info box below to where you can subscribe to one if you're interested. I do recommend it if you are like me and love to try out new supplies. So let's take a closer look at the things inside the box. First we have the featured artist of September and this bright and lovely artwork is made by the super talented Liz Lapointe and I hope I said that right. I've been following her for a while now and I adore her unique art style. She's doing a bunch of Inktober drawings now over at her YouTube channel and I love them. Then we have this card with a list of all the supplies and on the other side we can see that this month's challenge is escape so that's what I'm gonna draw today with the supplies inside the box. Candy and the sticker. Then the first supply in the box is this blue pen from Koi Noor. It is a water-based fiber tip brush pen and you know me having a soft spot for brush pens. Next is another Koinor product, a graphite pencil. It is a B, so it is a bit softer but not too soft. Always good to have a good pencil to sketch with, even if I prefer using harder lead when sketching that is easier to erase. Then we have a Stedler Tri Plus Fineliner in the color black and I love these pens, I have a few sets of them already. They are not super good to make line art with though if you want to use markers or watercolors or any other wet liquid medium on top of them since the ink is water based and will be dissolved. But you can do some really nice details with it afterwards or even put some water on it if you want a watercolor effect or just use them as they are. Then to the star in this box and something I've been wanting to try out for a while now, a Sakura Koi watercolor sketch travel kit with 12 different colors in it. It is adorable and there is also a smaller water brush and a dabbing sponge inside. I am so excited to try this, I've heard a lot of good things about it and there is a good amount of colors in this set so yeah, I think that is really really nice. The last supplies are these botanical ultra smooth watercolor paper. Very interesting paper size I must say, but I think it is fun to draw in different formats sometimes to change things up a little. So that is all the supplies in September's box, so let's try them out. So when trying out the supplies I noticed that the Koi watercolors was a little different from the watercolors I normally use. These are more opaque and didn't seem to fade as much when they dried. I first thought they felt a little weird since I wasn't used to the color consistency if you could call it that. But I think me and these Koi watercolors will do great things together. I did really enjoy working with them and I think they will be a good complement to the ones I already have. For some reason I totally forgot that there was this darker burgundy red to use as well even if I had made a color chart and all and the color pan is sitting right there in the middle. So I had a little trouble mixing a good skin tone color at first but I used a bit of the warmer red instead and the light brown, orange, a lot of white and a tiny tiny bit of blue and since I didn't use the burgundy red at first I couldn't really mix a nice purple either so her sweater that was supposed to be violet turned out kind of purpley brown instead. So talking a little about this challenge, escape, there are so many things I can think of when I hear the word escape but one of my own favorite ways to escape that I sadly don't do as much nowadays is reading a book. I love reading and I've always been reading. And when I was at a not so great place in my life, reading was a lifesaver. I don't want to go too deep into it, but yeah, when reading you can go to all the places that you want and time just flies by. 
and let me know your favorite book or books if you have any I'd love to hear it I think my all-time favorites are the Harry Potter book series I've read them so so many times now since I was 11 so the pages have started to fall out of the books and I'm really looking forward to read the new one so back to the painting a little, when just doing the watercolors alone it looks kind of messy but my idea was to outline it all with a tri plus fine liner and I'm glad I got the black one even if a colored outline would look cool too and it really brought this whole painting together I think, I really really like how it turned out and the watercolor paper was really really nice to work with, I usually prefer a bit rougher paper but maybe I just need to get more of this smoother watercolor paper instead and I liked working in this size or format, it made the painting look much more interesting I think I didn't use the blue brush pen that much since I kind of forgot about it and I didn't really know where to use it so I made a few dots here and there and I put some water on it to smooth it out a little I love this box and the supplies inside, especially the watercolor and the paper, they were great to work with. And I hope you enjoyed this video and the painting too. Leave a like and a comment if you did, it's always appreciated. And if you'd like to try out a box yourself, check out the link in the info box below. I know I'm looking forward to the October box. Thank you so much for watching and keep drawing my happy cats, bye!